Hello and welcome to Below Average Gaming. I'm your host, Below Average Gamer, and I am just peeling all over for my sunburn. I went to the lake like three days ago. Mm -hmm. Actually, more like five days ago, and I just got destroyed by the sun. It doesn't hurt. I don't. I don't tend to burn per se. Just get red. It doesn't. It doesn't hurt. I'm just peeling. It's annoying. I mean, I was fine with it up until the point that I just woke up this morning and had like it just peeled, gone, boom, presto, changeo. As I should. let's guys, I think real quick. And all caps, all caps. All caps. New videos uploaded. www.tinyurl.com/slash below average gaming. Oh, it's all the same color. I'm upset. Um, what did I do wrong? Oh, I forgot to do. I'm a, I'm a dumb dumb. I'm a big dummy dumb dumb. I understand why people make fun of me now, all the time, everywhere I go. People who don't even know me. There we go. New videos uploaded. Ha ha ha. What should we do today? So I was told in my last video where um, people were like. That's really long. Why'd you make this video so long? It'd be great if it wasn't so long. I'm sorry. I had a lot of stuff to get off my chest. A lot of stuff to say to you guys. So the, the formula is that they're not going to be quite so long anymore. Um, I just, that was my big welcome back one of like, I'm back. Hello, it's me. Ha, look at me. Um, but yeah, so there was that. Oops. And um, yeah, so that was that's the big reason why it was so long. But most of them aren't going to be that long. I'm going to die. I, I say most, pretty much all of them aren't going to be so long. You know, it's like, eh, you know, it's, it's 50 minutes. If I were going to split it in two parts, it'd be 30 minutes. Since it'd be 30 and 20, it's not, it's not even worth it. And I know right now it sounds like a horrible excuse because it is a really dumb excuse. <clears throat> excuse me. But, um, I can do whatever I want. It's my channel. Leave me alone. Fight you. I don't have any gold down there right now. I want to make this thing more efficient. I want to get more gold from this. More gold! But, uh, I don't know. Torambo, can you please do my help me? Let's see who's playing today. Today we have all of these people playing. Pretty sick. Pretty cool. Um, right, okay, I was like, <laughs> is the bottom one blank or is it just showing that on my screen over here? Yeah, but, um, <coughs> duh. Duh. I should hook up my other laptops back up. So I found this guy. Completely forgot he was here. But so far, it's power 47. Power... Oh, shit. Power 5 for 47. <laughs> power 47. That would, guy would be the most, like... I don't care how many emeralds it takes. Power 47 is, like, destroy Ender Dragon one shot. But I do need to find out what other trades that he has. So, you guys' favorite thing, which is, um... Chopping down sugarcane... And uh, turning that into paper and then trading the paper. Your favorite thing. I know you guys have been waiting for forever for me to just do this. And j listen, I'm glad that I can do that for you. My just a couple of days ago. It's, um, what time is it here? Oh, it's like 9.30 right now. Sorry for the lag. I, my video just kind of a little bit for a sec. But. Mmm. Ugh. Man, when I move to the new apartment, <clears throat> I am going to miss the Keurig machine. Greatest invention of man, I have to say, in every way. I mean, it's just, I, I have like two to three Keurig coffees a day, which I know is really bad for you, because I put a ton of cream and a ton of sugar. Oh, not a lot. I put, I put more than I should, I should say. When I say a lot, I feel like people are like, he just dumps that sugar and cream right on in there. Just dumps it in there. Um, but no, I, I, I have more than I should, and then I have like three of them a day. Which isn't great. Not great. You shouldn't drink that much. You should not be drinking that much coffee in one day. Ooh, 
I almost forgot. I had something to show y'all today. Fiance's getting mad that I'm not texting her. Um, it's actually really cool. I got this thing online from think.com. What it is, is it's supposed to energize your brain. Now, as you can tell, and as I just said, I'm, I'm not energized today right now. I'm not in it. I'm not feeling it. So here's what I'm going to do. I came up with this game. Here it is. Right here. See? Awesome. Great. Let's pop that guy right out of there. And you get this. And you just sticky. I mean, sorry, one second. I'm just going to pull that up right there. You install the app on your phone so you can control your brain through your phone. Which I know sounds terrifying. And that's because it is. So, come in here. Get your little think pack here. And what that is, is it has the, um, the brain connectors. This connects your brain to the system. I'm gonna do that. Gonna, gonna get all set up here. And we're going to experience this together. feel something. I don't know if that's it. Oh, that's it. Oh my gosh. Oh, my brain. Here we go. Oh my goodness, my brain. Okay. So on the instructions for this thing, it does say that you may experience some discomfort while getting this to your level of uh, comfortability. Oh, that's weird. It feels like it's unsticking in the back. And I keep on going and it's not unsticking. It's it's still stuck there. Oh, that's odd. Ooh, it feels like the right like my right eyebrow is not going up. Oh I fell. Hello there, sir. Ooh, ooh, ooh. -ee. Fight me, brother. And you know, it's it's losing. It's like punch. I'm gonna up it a little bit, as you can see. If you can, I don't know if you can see that. I can up the dosage. And I'm at 52. I'm gonna go up to 60. Ooh, okay. I went up to 70. I went up to 70 because the 60 was alright. But I want to feel a little bit more energized. Here it comes. Uh, oh, bye bye. Let's do that. Okay. I need to get back to the thing here. Okay. Oh. Uh, I feel like I'm taking in all the information on the screen at once. Okay. What was I going to do? Right, I was going to turn this sugarcane into paper, and then trade that paper with the villager in the other corner over there. Oh, my brain. Ooh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut out a lot of that setup time, so that um, we can just move forward with what's happening here. Because I know a lot of that setup time was just me waiting. Uh, I'll probably just super speed it up. Ba, 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 ba. Okay. It's gonna surge it. I'm gonna surge it up. It's at 72 right now. Let's go to 80. Oh my gosh, that just feels like heat. Oh my gosh. Oh. 
And my ear is like numb. Oh, I was trying to think. I was like, how can I make me trading sugar more exciting? Well, what if I hook up a contraption to my brain and just do that? I am definitely more awake. Oh my gosh. Yes, this is um the Think system from Think Technologies or whatever. I don't know what their actual conversation name is. Ah, I think it's just Think. I think it's Think from Think. I'm supposed to energize you. It's supposed to make you feel more awake, which I do feel more awake. I completely forgot my coffee was here. It's gone now. Here we go. I can see into the third dimension. Oh shoot, that hurt. Oh no. Okay, um, let's go ahead and bump that right on up to a new level. All right now I'm at level 80. Right, 80? Let's go, oh, I know that you're thinking, you're like, oh, he's really putting on a show. <laughs> but in reality, this thing, so how it works. Is it shoots electric? You know, okay, let me say this. You know how when you drink coffee and you drink energy drinks and stuff, what's the purpose of that? The purpose is to get your brain to release chemicals. So, oh, oh my god, don't touch it. Is so that for you to release chemicals so that your your brain can be more awake and so those chemicals in your body so your body can be more awake. Well, let me tell you, this machine here just bypasses all that. What it does is it actually just uses electrical signals to um in in, in waves. As you can see, it just shoots these electrical pulses through your brain from one node to the back node. I'm going to touch it again just to see if it's still... Ah, it still hurts! Okay. Um, is you put the electrical nodes in one end, and it'll sh shoot them through the other end. Um, and um, it, it, uh, it uses that to release those energy chemicals. I also have the calm set uh, in, in the box, but I haven't used that yet. Just because I'm a person who I can calm down really easily. I'm one of those people who can just fall asleep anywhere. And I, very often at work, I'll be there and on my 15 minute break, I will just take a nap. Because um, I fall asleep so easily and I'm always constantly so tired. So I use the Energizer one to get me pumped and energized. That's one of those things before where I was like, oh yeah, I've been going through a lot of stuff um, recently. Uh, da, 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 all that stuff from the other episode. Um, was that I just I felt really down I felt really like um, loss of power I felt really really low and really slow on energy stuff like that as well as just, and it was all connected to a lot of emotional stuff that I was going through so I don't want you to think like oh he tricked me into thinking that something emotional I was going through a lot of emotional stuff that was connected to what was happening to me so touch um there is that for ten no I have one that's for six don't I yeah right I'm gonna check on um I have a lot of stuff that was going on with me emotionally as well so. I don't want you to be like, yeah, he tricked me or anything like that. Because, no, I, I honestly have a lot of stuff going on in my life. Yeah, so, touch one. Ah, so um, yeah, that was happening. But I, I the one, this guy, this thing, just out of fun. And it was like, oh, it can energize you. And it does work. I'm at 90 right now. I don't want to go to 100 because I feel like that would be just dangerous. Really, really dangerous. I only have three minutes left on the thing because it only goes for 10 minutes. So, I'm going to... 92, 94... I can feel each thing as I level it up. I can feel it happening. Like, as I do it. That's the scariest part. Okay. It's at 100% right now. It's at 100% right now. And I know, I, I, because I can tell by the way that I'm responding to that, I can tell by the way that I'm moving, is that it feels like, or it looks like, um, I am putting on a show. Or like, I'm just messing around, just trying to be like, oh, look at how crazy I am. But in reality, this thing is, shoot, it shoots electricity through your brain. And that's fun in moderation and things like that. But the thing is, I'm just letting it go. Um, it has 2 minutes and 24 seconds left. So you guys get to see that. I, oh, another thing I want to talk about <clears throat> is, i got to concentrate, is um, I saw the movie Finding Dory recently. Finding Dory, great movie. In my opinion, they got into... I, I'm not, I'm not going to give away the ending. I don't want to give away the ending. Um, I, I, I promise you I'm not going to give away the ending. I can't control my thoughts very much right now. 
or like a lot of things right now. But I will tell you, I'm not going to be waiting. A great movie, in my opinion, they jumped into the, the plot really quickly. And I think the reason for that is because they knew people wanted to see Finding Dory. And I felt like they were just like, okay, let's just get into the plot. Whereas Finding Nemo had a lot of emotional setup and investment into what was going on there. Um, Finding Dory didn't have quite as much investment. I think that if they're going off, they're kind of cruising off the fact that we already know who these characters are. And um, they were just like, oh, we don't need to explain these characters because people already know who Nemo, Dory, and Marlin are. Uh, so they, they figured that they didn't have to explain those characters at all. But they really lost that emotional connection to me that made me fall in love with those characters in the first movie they say first movie now nemo now finding nemo is classified as the first movie um but yeah um you know they really lost me for that i i, I mentioned it in one way to a person and i got like so much backlash from them and my other friends that i was talking to at the time <gasps> i'll touch the back thing Oh, okay. I got a lot of backlash. Um, can't concentrate because I said, uh, "Oh my gosh, my brain!" Oh, I can feel it in my eye. Okay, <clears throat> I got a lot of backlash because I said it reminded me of one of those straight to DVD movies, um, or it should have been a straight to DVD movie because there was no character investment. It was a really good story. A lot of characters. Really fun getting to meet so many new characters. That was one of the things. As I know in a lot of sequels, they try to stick to the characters that everyone knows. Because they don't want to take the risk of having characters that no one likes. But these characters were all awesome. I loved every single one of them. I'm moving my glasses because they're falling and it's touching the thing and causing the electricity to hurt. Um, I'm at 100% right now. But... <laughs> ah! <coughs> um, but, um... Yeah, they had a lot of really cool characters that I really enjoyed. My favorite was Gerald, if you haven't seen the movie. Ooh. Okay. Okay, it's off. Is the session over? How was it on a scale of 1 to 7? I'm going to say a 5 because it was painful. But a... a I mean, I'm still giving it... It's out of 7. I'm still giving it a high number because I, I do feel more energized now. I don't know if you can tell. Uh, put in the comments if... I do feel more energized than I was at the beginning. Oh, wait. Oh, that one hurt. Oh, that one hurt. Yeah, but uh, Gerald was my favorite character by far. E. Um, yeah. I'm so sorry if it's difficult to, to listen to what I'm saying right now. That was an experience on its own. But, um, yeah. Gerald's my favorite character. Hank was a, another top favorite. Just... Looking at those characters and watching them evolve and things like that. It was just awesome. Great. They had a lot of actual, like, bio Oh, we're getting kicked out of the server. Um, there was a lot of, like, really biological stuff going on with the movie. And, like, people are saying that it's a comment on SeaWorld. And I don't think so, because where they were at was a real place. And it's not SeaWorld. They were at a fish institute. I think they were using that to explain a lot of stuff of Dory. Like, why she has, um memory problems and I think you know it was really I I can say it's a really good movie I think they rushed into the plot but they introduced a lot of great characters and if they didn't rush into the plot so quickly they wouldn't have been able to introduce so many awesome characters and I'm really glad that they they did I don't see any other way that they could have done it better I think that it was great and my brain is on fire I feel like I'm thinking at a, a thousand miles a minute <laughs> Yeah, um, Lord, my brain. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but that's think, uh, the T-H-Y-N-C, and if you want to learn more about it, you can go to T-H-Y-N-C.com, I'll probably have it below. I recommend that you don't go to 100. I know that it's going to look like, oh, that thing looks horrible, that looks like a bad idea, what he's doing there. That's because I went directly from 0 to 100. I've used it twice before. Um, both times I've gotten up to like 80, and they say the more times that you use it, the more, the higher you'll be able to go with it. Feather phone, dang it, seriously. Um, the higher you'll be able to go with it. Um, yeah. I've used it twice, and I got to 100. I can feel, it feels like I got burned on the back. I, I, am I burned on the back? Can you see? Is it bad? I just feel like that. And this thing gives you a lot of sensations, because it goes directly to your nerves, through your nerves, to your brain. 
And so it gives you a lot of sensations that aren't real, like um, the fact that I, I did feel like it was burning me, or I felt like the thing was falling off, I should say, was the big thing. I felt like the thing was falling off, and it was not. Which was weird, in its own. Oh, you do 24, don't you? That's a good trade. Um, because it was not falling off. It was still on me. It was sticking on me, but it, it felt like that thing was just peeling off. And I kept on worrying about it. Every time that I use it, I worry about that it's going to fall off. Because, um, I don't know what happens if it falls off. It hurts already so much when it's on that I'm like, man, I hope that that thing does not fall off. And, my goodness, sweet Lottie baby Jesus. Ooh, 25, sick. Ha 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 my brain. This thing is technology. I wouldn't be surprised if in um, 10, 15 years, everyone's wearing one of those things. Because they're great. You know, you can, I, I feel energized. I head on the work mode so that I can get stuff done today. And I do feel now like I can get stuff done. And I know you're going to be like, oh, that's what the placebo effect is, you big dumb dumb face. Placebo effect makes you think it's working, but it's not. Uh, listen, the fact of knowing what the placebo effect is and that and how it affects you in that way is something that's counterintuitive to the placebo effect. So the thing is, the fact that I know that the placebo effect works and that it is a thing is something that would keep the placebo effect from happening. I feel like I'm going to throw up right now. Um, yeah, but since I know about the placebo effect, I feel like it is happening. And you can tell me too. Do I seem more energized? Do I seem more awake? Do I seem more just wired? <laughs> That's a joke, probably. Just <laughs> I feel more wired, probably because I'm wired into a machine. Do 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 do. But yeah, let me know in the comments um, what you think. Would you try it out? Now I will tell you, it was two hundred dollars, which in my opinion is a lot of money. I know some people are like, oh, that's not a lot of money. I spent $200 all the time. Well, you know, I'm happy for you. I'm genuinely happy for you that you're able to spend that sum of money so often. I, I, ho I hope good things happen to you in life. I do. I, I hope that bad things happen to you as well because I wish I had money. But I had the $200 and I was like, oh, this seems fun. This seems interesting. This seems like something that I can have fun with. So I did it, and it's been fun using it. Um, very interesting outcome there. But yeah, it just makes your brain go a thousand miles a minute. I feel, here's how I explain it to people. I explain it to people like this. You know how when you're sleeping, you get restless leg syndrome, and you feel like you have to like just get up and run, but your brain is really tired? I feel kind of like that. That's the closest thing that I can put it to. But um, yeah. Like, my body feels energized. Like, I, like, sitting down right now recording this is not feeling right. Like, I need to be up and moving is what my, my brain is telling me right now. Like, get up, move, run, do something. So my brain is, t brain is telling my body right now. But my brain is still, like, asleep. It's still, like, quiet right now. My brain's still, like, as if the thing wasn't on. Because my brain released the chemicals. But my brain's not awake yet. It just released the chemicals to get my body up and moving. But the fact that my body wants to be up and moving is then re-energizing my brain... And my brain's like, all right, yeah, I can do this. Whatever, let's go. Like, it's kind of like, you know, you have your fa your coach in the golf cart who's not exercising, but he's telling you to exercise, and the body is you, and you're exercising, but your coach isn't, right? That's what it feels like. And then your, your, you running makes your coach want to keep up with you, so he gets in the golf cart, and he drives beside you. Now he's moving, but he's not really moving. It's kind of like that. So my brain is awake, but at the same time, not energized, but my body wants to move, so my brain, therefore, is like, alright, let's wake up, let's get going with the day, so, um, yeah, so I'm ready, I have that meeting in, like, an hour, it takes me about 20, 30 minutes to get there, I like to be there, I like to get to a lot of places early, um, where can I move that uh, villager to, but, um, I like to get to a lot of places early, usually 15 minutes or so early, and I, I want to account for traffic, my tires aren't that great, my car's kind of a piece of crap, um, so, I, I say that knowing fully well that now that I've said that, I'm going to go outside and my car's going to be just not doing it today. Not feeling it, you know? I have a villager on this side. Oh, I thought there was a librarian on the side. I guess it was just a regular villager. But, um, yeah. No. So, I, I always leave a little early with enough time that if my car did decide to just break down, I can call someone to give me a ride. 
And luckily, I'm, I have a lot of friends. I have a lot of friends. Like I said in the last video, you know, I went through a lot of stuff. I've been going through some serious, like, stuff. I'll just go ahead and say depression. Um, that's what it was. Uh, really bad stuff. Just thoughts that weren't so kind to myself. Um, and I have to say that my fiance Lauren is really the big thing that moved me to stop being that. Um, I don't know. I have friends who watch the video. Let me know as well. Could you tell the difference that there was something, I don't know, different. But that's beside the point. Um, thank you for watching. Like I said, I have a meeting, so I do have to go soon. I'm just going to finish this up, throw it in the editor um, like you do, get it all done. Hopefully, it'll be up in the next 20 minutes. If not, it'll be up by tonight. You won't know because you'll only see the video when it's done. But yeah, thank you for watching. Um, I appreciate you. Hey, uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate getting the likes, comments, and subscribes. You guys are honestly the best. I'm, I want to do a giveaway just because I have a lot of people who've been talking to me. People are like, even if they're not in the comments of YouTube, just the comments of people in the server on the forums, <clears throat> you know, hey, you changed your hair. Oh man, we're so glad you had you back. Hey, your video was really long, dude. Cut it shorter. I'm like, okay, I understand <laughs> all the stuff you're saying. Not much I can do with the hair right now. I'm working on it um, as fast as I can. Video being shorter, that's why I'm kind of cutting out is because I did it so that I would have to leave. It's not going to be an hour long, maybe going to be 30 minutes at the most, 40, something like that. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. I appreciate you. You are uh, you are literally the best, guys. You guys are a big part of me coming back to YouTube after being gone for so long. Is someone messaging me? Yeah. Part of me being back on uh, YouTube, back in Minecraft, after being gone for so long is you. So thank you so much for your help, for your support, for everything. I appreciate you. You are the best. Like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.